Great. Well, it's with great pleasure that I'm here with Sarah Keller from GMS. She's the Chief Global Enterprise Officer for GMS. How are you today, Sarah? Very good, Jason. Very well. How are you? I'm fine. It's a great pleasure to, to see you again and speak to you again. It's been a while. We've had the COVID pandemic, of course, and it's great to be back to business, isn't it? It is indeed, and I think that it's been a while will change. So how is how is business in GMS these days? Business is great. Thanks, Jason. It's going really well. Um, we were very lucky, and as many were not, that uh, COVID had no negative impact at all. So uh, things are going great, and my focus has changed. Uh, I'm definitely more focused on the global enterprise business and building that, building the relationships with the partners. And uh, yeah, we've uh, seen that the enterprises are looking towards a need for, they're definitely recognizing the need for quality, the need to ensure the security of the data, the timely delivery of their data, GMS is ensuring that. So we have seen a significant expansion in our list of directly connected enterprises. Several of those are going a step further. They're looking to commit destinations, commit volumes for a period of time, to kind of stabilize, stabilize their costs and quality over a significant period. So that's a positive change we're seeing. And also uh, we've really looked at our product portfolio and how it can better serve the enterprise to address some of their key concerns. Um, we're adapting our analysis uh, to provide a better overview, wider visibility for the enterprise, uh, and also adapting the use of messaging, the different uh, use cases that are coming up we're seeing, uh, you know, just to fulfill the enterprise service requirements. So it's, it's all keeping us busy and going very positively. No, it must be extremely challenging to to service, let's say, so many different types of enterprises, small, large, of all different kinds of backgrounds. I mean, you, you can't predict it, can you? It's like one is very different to the other, the requirements and, and challenges they may have. So d despite despite all those different challenges, you were voted as tier one in our HP SMS research by enterprises that we did, especially mm -hmm. with enterprises. And we've been doing this research for a few years. It's always really tough. We all get a very diverse uh, base of enterprises. Uh, from banks to pizza to to Uber to different companies like this. How did the team react to the fact that you guys were in the tier one of of that report? Yeah, I mean, they were so proud. I have to say, thankful for the confidence that our customers have placed in us. But yeah, from my side also, for the team, it was such a great recognition of all their hard work. They're uh, a team that goes above and beyond to ensure an excellent customer experience. And I was, it was so good to see that that was acknowledged by the customers. They realized that hard work and effort. So no, lots of celebration in the team after that. No, it's like I said, it's a, it's a tough industry and there's a lot of competition and you guys did especially well. There's a lot of enterprises really came forward and, and said that you're doing a, a very special job. So, so congratulations on that. Based on your experience with enterprises, what would you say is the number one way we can make a substantial difference, specifically on the customer experience side? Yeah, I mean, I think we all know what is critical, and that's to have a clear understanding of your customer, the customer profile, the buyer journey, the challenges and pain points. Also, I think what is the optimal time and communication channel to reach your customer? Um, how you may segment this by age, by region, by product, for example. However, knowing how to get this information, I think is more often than not the biggest challenge. We know what we need to know, but we don't know how to get what we know. So how to get to what we know. So I think sometimes the enterprise doesn't even understand the issues themselves, or as I said, what what points they need to improve that customer engagement. So this is where definitely, I think we all see that growing need in um, smarter solutions, CPAS, CCAS, CDP. And this provides a holistic view of the customer themselves based on data collected from multiple sources. So this enables the enterprise to customize either a bulk approach 
or even a, a personalized, a customer approach. They can go as big or as small as they like. The data is available and in their hands. And then with that information, the enterprise can identify and engage, I think, via a channel that suits their clients and thus improve the engagement by sending the right message at the right time in the right channel. I believe such interactions do delight the customer and it does lead to better business results. Yeah, I mean, it's it's incredible how many aggregators, uh, companies there are offering solutions for connectivity, for for messaging, but really it's much more than that, isn't it? It's about understanding marketing. And I think you guys have done especially well in that area. So another question for you, how can SMS messaging and CPAS, which is a big buzzword of the, of the moment, how can that assist small to medium enterprises specifically? I mean, what's your opinion about that? I think it maybe covers different layers and uh, they can all be applicable to the SME or they can take part of that. So uh, I think the first is it, it provides easy access, better visibility of their audience and also scalability. So I believe one of the pain points for the SMEs is this need to scale up the team and the operations with the growth of their business. CPaaS can help to automate their interactions it can uh, scale throughout the various customer journeys that they have. It unlocks the business growth while keeping the organizational structure lean, if that is a requirement. So it allows the business teams to focus on their business, but allows them to scale up as needed. So if you find the right user-friendly interface, you can easily scale up your campaigns as needed and do that interaction as your client base grows. But also to that, there's personalized communication Customer, we, customer engagement can always be improved. I refer back, you know, understanding your customer journey, for example. We understand the importance of it, understanding their preferred way to engage, whether it be SMS, email, the OTT channels, such as WhatsApp. Reaching your clients at several stages of the journey, throughout this journey, hearing their feedback, their preferences, I think allows you to better understand your clients' needs and expectations to improve for the next time. There will always be improvements, there will always be developments, there will always be changes. And I think this also helps you guide the customer throughout the buyer's journey to ensure an optimal result at the end. And then lastly, I think it just see, CPAS helps um, look at the conversational commerce. During the Rocco survey, for example, you remember the enterprises mentioned that SMS is the easiest and most trusted medium. Yeah. But we obviously can build on this. Two-way SMS, for example, turns a conversation, obviously, from one way to two-way. Alternatively, the OTT channels, such as Viber again, WhatsApp, also chatbots. Your customer now has a voice, and they can address points pertinent to them. And I think the fact that this becomes a conversation rather than a sales pitch is what is the trend and what endears the customer to continue with that brand. That's really fascinating, actually. I mean, it always occurs to me that very small companies find it very challenging to do marketing, you know, and they don't have the expertise. Um, so I consider that working with uh, companies such as yourself can really expedite that. They, they can really get the specialist knowledge and the connectivity tools that they need. Mm -hmm. What would you say then sets GMS apart from your competitors in the market? What, what's different about GMS? Because there's so many vendors in the industry, right? Um, mm -hmm. they, they have different specialist knowledge. What is the thing which really differentiates GMS among those? Well, GMS started back in 2006, and we started then as an MNO solution provider. So I think from 2006 to now, our knowledge, we know the mobile messaging industry inside out. We understand every single challenge, technically, commercially, and have developed solutions to tackle those challenges for both the MO and the enterprise. We, through our understanding of the MO capabilities, we're able to create solutions for the enterprise, well, that befit the enterprise but match the same MO capabilities because we know what they are. And I think, therefore, GMS differentiation is our in depth knowledge of all sides of the ATP messaging ecosystem, as I said before, allowing us to effectively bridge the information and solution gap between the two, the enterprise and the MNO. And there is a gap. 
Uh, we know the enterprise has a need and we know the MO has a want, and it's just gelling those two together and it can be done. But to have that vast knowledge of the two really has helped. So, but we are also looking at different ways to further enhance that. So we've adapted and customized the analytic data we share with the enterprise through this analysis. It's giving the visibility they need to help implement cost reductions. We're offering, as I mentioned, an array of products targeting communication from enterprise to customer, but also customer to enterprise. So we, as we see the growth in the MO traffic, and we're trying to identify and productize solutions for the growing market segments. Gaming, for example, is becoming definitely a growing area in certain markets. These products are benefiting the enterprise, the subscriber, and also the mobile operator. So we're covering all we believe in the growth and the development we're doing. But also in our Rocco tier one ranking, as you mentioned, key factors raised by our enterprise partners was the ease of working with GMS, our expertise, innovation, and as well as our customer orientation. And with our significant footprint, 240 plus directs, our several single gateways, um, and an extensive enterprise and MO client base, I think we drive the quality and reliability in all those areas to ensure that the customer satisfaction is maintained while striving to bring further and further developments for them to help improve their business. So the small SME with the C, C pass, but the, the global guys with their demands for OTP to ensure that it is delivered on time, that they do achieve the conversion rates they expect, that everything is managed with as much visibility as possible. We're really focusing on that to get go beyond, as I said, the day-to-day -day just to become that truly reliant partner. Oh, fantastic. No, it, it, it's a very challenging market and I think uh, a very dynamic market. It's yes. constantly changing. Um, customers' behaviors are changing so much, aren't they? From year to year, um, the way that an enterprise has to, to speak to its customers, has to connect with its customers, it evolves so much. So it's it's incredible that you guys are on top of all that and and looking for the solutions that they need. So as I said, very dynamic market, lots of changes going on. What is GMS working on then specifically? Okay, uh, well, there's quite a lot going on. Yeah, so we're continuing to expand into the new markets. We're also looking more and more and more localized services and solutions. As I was saying before, uh, not proving productive if you're working to develop solutions in isolation. So we're very much driven by the SMS trends, both positive and negative, and that can mean some major changes in the direction we're going with regards to um, product development. But we've got a very um, dynamic, ambitious product team to ensure that we're, uh, we're, again, meeting the requirements of the market. And so with our, as I mentioned before, the GMS experience, extensive experience in messaging world, we're actively working with those partners. Again, m and aggregator, enterprise, all elements of the chain to identify where and how we can help and customize our solutions. This stems across AI, artificial intelligence, the chatbots, fraud identification, and enhanced customer engagement through the expanding customer channels. Yeah, fantastic. Clearly, this is an ever-evolving market, so it's always great to catch up with you, Sarah. And I really appreciate your time uh, speaking to me and I look forward to, to hopefully seeing you at future events. Indeed. Thanks a lot for the opportunity, Jason. Thank you. Thanks. Great to speak to you. Mm -hmm.